Hi, it's July 15th and I just wrote the 29th song tonight and um, it's called The Living Waters and it's a continuation of the 25th song, The Thunderstorm, but it has a different melody. That song ended with There Is a Final Day. This song starts with In That Day. The song's about the waters that come from the cloud. So go, go watch that song if you haven't heard that song yet, and then you'll understand why I'm starting with it right here. But here's the song. <clears throat> <clears throat> In that day at evening, there will be great light coming from the throne of God, from the one who gave his life. From this king flows a river the pure waters of life. It's as clear as crystal. It's as pure as light. There are so many wonders, God's many majesties, revealed within the scripture, there for us to see. Each picture has a purpose, to help us understand because our God alone knows the heart of man. True worshipers start singing in perfect harmony from deep within their hearts the songs of Christ our King they sing forth what they have to share. These are the latter rains, streams of living water that come forth as we praise. Living waters come through song to wash us through his word. They're cleansing us right now. These waters bring new birth. It happens deep within our souls and makes our spirit clean. These rivers overflowing now, the lifeblood of our King. There are so many wonders, God's many majesties, revealed within the scripture, there for us to see. Each picture has a purpose to help us understand because our God alone knows the heart of man. But don't be unaware, it happened once before. Moses gave them words to drink, but their hearts were not transformed. Most of them did not please God, and so he struck them down. But oh, his mercy and his love, it's why his Christ came down. He came to seek the lost, and by the blood he shed, he purified our hearts. And by his spirit we are led. He is the living waters that help us clearly see. The spirit, water, and his blood in perfect harmony. There are so many wonders, God's many majesties. Revealed within the scripture, there for us to see. This is the greatest wonder, such promise from our Lord. He spoke this to the prophets, and now it has come forth. Every living creature, in every single place, where these waters flow, we'll live. Thank God for grace. There will be many peoples, and each of them will know everything will live. Where the river flows, 
There will be many peoples, and each of them will know everything will live where the river flows. There are so many wonders, God's many majesties, revealed within the scripture, there for us to see. Each picture has a purpose to help us understand. Because our God alone knows the heart of man. He knows the heart of man. It'll end somehow, but <clears throat> I love this song because um, it's, it's how I know him. And, um, and hopefully it, it helps you to know him when you hear things like water. My sons always make fun of me or when I, we say they make fun of Christian songs, they're like, there's always water in the Christian songs. <sighs> yes, there's always water references in Christian songs because there's a reason he is the living water. So, and sometimes it's hard to understand that. Um, so hopefully this paints a little bit of a picture that you can, you can see, like I see it. Um, and this morning, it was just a, a blessing to me as I was as I was writing this. Um, a lot of scripture kind of was coming to me, and the Lord reminded me of um, the scripture when the disciples are looking up into heaven and they're looking at the clouds. Jesus had just ascended, and two men came to them, and um, they might have been angels, but they they said, "Why are you looking into the clouds? Why are you looking up into the sky? He's going to come back the same way he ascended." Um, and I don't have full understanding. I have little glimpses, maybe what that means, but um, it doesn't matter. Um, no one knows the day and he'll come in his way and um, it will be glorious and we will see his light and we will have the refreshing waters. And um, ah, there's so many promises in the scripture. So I have fun writing these songs about the promises. Um, God bless you. Have a good day.